Hello everyone, welcome and thank you for coming back for Horizon Zero Dawn, day two. Uh, we started yesterday and got off to a pretty good start. It seems like they are very much continuing the story from Zero Dawn, which we also recently played through. And I'm intrigued to see where they're taking this. Like, we're clearly going out to the Forbidden West, and we are following Silence, who has unfortunately super deceived Aloy, and he even, like, taunted her. He's like, oh, it took you this long to figure it out? Like, no, dude, she was following other leads, which apparently you seem to have already known about, like, knew that Farzenith didn't successfully steal a copy of Gaia, which, like, to me, why? I don't know. Like, I... I'm trying to understand Dr. Elizabeth Sobeck's extreme need for, like, secrecy on the project and her extreme aversion to it being copied. Because I feel like a backup of the whole thing is a good idea. And, like, especially said she does That's the thing. is She doesn't know that, like, Ted Farrow had, like, like backdoor built-in systems. I feel like if Farzenith had told Elizabeth about the backdoors... That may have changed things. But then they would have had to, like, admit it to a lot of stuff. But, like, they already knew. So, like... I don't know. Like, I get their aversion to not wanting it to, like, end up in the wrong hands, I guess. But, like, it's just Gaia, I guess. But I don't know. I guess there's a lot that you could do with that. Um, so I guess we're going to see how this goes. So thank you guys for joining me on this journey. So this is my first playthrough. I recently played through Zerodon, and that was super fun. The story was incredibly intriguing. It got very dark at the end there. I'm interested to see now where they're taking this. So, I'm definitely wanting to see, like, the, the resolution and the main story and stuff. I know that this game, I'm sure it's going to steam, like, start to seem a little bit long in the middle, I'm assuming. Maybe, like, Zero Dawn. Maybe not. Um, but regardless, it's going to be really fun, and Aloy needs to get stronger. So, let's go on our adventures. This game is also beautiful. Like, one of the, one of the nicer games I've seen on PS5. Or just, yeah. I think the nicest game I've seen on the PS5. So, my controls are a little bit different. We're hopping on in. So, basically, quick recap. Where's our quests? To enter the Forbidden West and track down Silence, Aloy must first attend an embassy on the border of the Karja Sundom. But dangerous new machines threaten to halt the proceedings. So basically, we gotta kind of clear out the valley so that we can attend an embassy, so that we can get clear passage to the Forbidden West, so that we can chase Silence, so that we can either actually kill Hades or figure out what the heck is going on there and maybe kill Silence also, and then also restore Gaia. So yeah, that's that's the basic thing. <laughs> so is the whole thing like I need to clear out a bunch of machines? I'm assuming I just need to make it to Errand. I've been made. No. No burrowing. I kinda like that though. That's kind of fun, like burrowing animals. Like little groundhog machines. Burrower squirrel. No! My spear doesn't do quite as much damage as I'd like compared to my arrows. Sorry, Aloy. You can, you can handle getting your butt kicked a little bit better. A little better than my Elden Ring character can, so... Mm, you're, you're good. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Peach. It's good to see you. Welcome back. Hope you're having a good day. Um... <laughs> you were sobbing watching The Last of Us. Oh, absolutely. No, I literally hadn't cried like that <laughs> in, uh, in a while. I was like, okay. That's- that's where they're taking this. Okay. You're just gonna- you're gonna make me feel all the things. 
I see. Thank you. <laughs> I've not played The Last of Us 2. I will be playing that uh, week after next. Next week I'm starting Dead Space 2, and then the week after that I will be doing Last of Us 2. I just finished Last of Us 1 literally two days ago. And the DLC yesterday. So, the game, I just officially finished the first game yesterday. <laughs> it's a dead machine. It must be a bristleback. Maybe Erend took it down? It's with the poison. It must be chain scrape. Jeruf said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Might be able to tinker with my other gear, too. Well, considering we lost all of our other bows that we had... Yeah. Is that something? What is that? Oh, you can go underwater? Wait, what? Wait, does it teach me how to dive under- <gasps> Oh, that's new? Look at how pretty! Okay, this is one of the prettier underwaters I've ever seen in the game. I like that. Green shine sliver. It's green like blaze, but it's hard and shiny. Hmm. I wonder if merchants would be interested. I'm assuming. Rare and valuable resource hidden all over the world can be used for upgrading certain weapons and outfits or trading with specific merchants. Nice. I hope I can upgrade something here. Also, I'm seeing a side quest somewhere. Somewhere that way, I guess. Let me go into the city first. Gotta pick up some new rocks. <laughs> hey, Kiri, welcome back. Well, I'm... I don't know. I'm kind of impressed with the underwater diving like that. Outlander with the fish and all. Is that the savior? Wanna come in, savior? Welcome to Chainscrape, Savior. Open up, guys. Jar of Sorters. I wonder if there's treasure to Good find. Me. Something treasures. Behold, dog. Now that now the shirt doesn't really work, but it's okay. Behold, By Aloy. The forge. Petra, Aloy, what are you doing here? I just braid my hair a bunch. Uh, that work? About time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you too. And not a moment too soon. It's good to see her. Come on. I kind of remember I... her. Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this I place. I think we did a side quest for her. Yeah, I've heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. <laughs> and right there is the biggest tool of all. Our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Roland? You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story. Best told over a cold beer. Sounds great. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. No beer. Dang it. There's an embassy. Oh, she's so sad. I need to make happen, and then I... She thought you were visiting her. Keep moving. Oh. Ah. Of course. Sorry, Aloy's got to keep saving the world. Grind. Well, flame hair. Oh, she's so to sad. Got to move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. I mean, yeah, I gotta go find her. Come on. Come on, Aloy. Oh, well, this old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Come on, Aloy, we got that. The world's only just... It, it's fine. Gaia's only just dead. And depending on you. Cool. <laughs> You have a whole journal dedicated to crafting requirements and weapons and outfits because of this game? I mean, yeah, no, I, I don't blame you for that. That's funny, I've had a, a full-on printout guide for one game before, which was Stardew Valley, back when, uh, it was back when, like, when Stardew first released and stuff, and there wasn't a bunch of optimizations. I remember I had, like, a printout checklist. That was kind of fun. <laughs> Weapon upgrades. 
Let's definitely do that. Beautiful. And another one. Absolutely. All the way. Why not? Empty coil slots. Nice. Okay. Basic bow's better than nothing. Don't have a bristleback circulator yet, so can't keep upgrading that. Outfit upgrades, increases resistances. Definitely want that. 2018 God of War, probably one of the best games you've ever played. I'm really excited for that one. I'm going to have to start with that one before I go for Ragnarok. So as soon as we get through all the games that are on our immediate list, and probably, probably after I beat Forbidden West and the DLC comes out, that's probably when I'll play God of War, if I had to take a guess. Trap crafting. Sure. Potion crafting? Nope, I need some wild meat once again. Ammo that deals acid damage is now available in your inventory. Use your focus to scan enemies, see if they're weak to acid. Hitting them with acid will do build up to the corroding state. Once in this state, an enemy's armor takes damage over time and has reduced damage resistance. That sounds fantastic. Shoot acid canisters with acid arrows to detonate them and trigger a large elemental explosion. Will do. Acid arrows now, that's fun. And then I think we also got access to a coil, did we not? Edit coils. We just don't have any yet. Okay. Aloy seems to have lost all of her gear. How irresponsible. No, I can't judge her. I don't know what she did the last six months, you know? Maybe it was real rough. Um. Yep, just figured that out. This should be useful. Now I just need to find Aaron and help him clear the bristlebacks. And then talk to everyone that's around here that we can talk to first. What is this? Your stash. Can be found in every settlement, many other locations. When you gather items beyond your carrying capacity, excess items will be sent to your stash. From here, you can retrieve items individually or restock all resources by holding square. Oh, that's kind of nice. Okay. And you can increase the capacity. Cool. Inventory. Valuables to sell. Oh, and you can mark them to store. That's cool. Let's make sure I just, I don't know, let's take all this. Restock resources. Not enough room in my resource pouch. Okay. So I need to do some selling. Um, I'm going to store just a couple of those. Because I can always get some more, right? I don't know. Not enough room. Okay, so let's do some selling. Can I talk to you? Hello. Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. Well, I already did, so thanks. Well, shop is apparently closed. Gonna have to find another merchant. Noted. You can fast travel between campfires you've discovered without using a fast travel pack. Oh, so that's nice. Hey, Milda. You? Milda. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. I felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. 
since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Sorry, I didn't finish my cinnamon roll earlier. Now we're talking about food, and now it looks really good. <laughs> Tommy, thank you so much for subbing. That really means a lot. Thank you very much. Um, just for your support and for hanging out here. Hope you enjoyed the emotes. Thank you. <laughs> Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals. No trouble. That's fair. <laughs> How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they like my food. More the ale. Fair enough. Food? Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. What do you want me to do? Unless you can source <laughs> me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. Happy like it. I'll keep an eye out. It's the no power so armor, that's as we call it. Gratitude sounds like. <laughs> and don't let anyone push you around, okay? <laughs> if you say so. She does say so. Yes. A dash of courage. So we got some different side quests. Let's go pick them all up. Why not? This. You want to take over? No? No, I what I don't. Doing? Thank you though. Mm. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Something in there. How do I get back in there? Not this way. Let me find the dang container. Where is it? Hang on. <clears throat> oh my. My eyebrows! Javad, please help. The product in question maimed me. I filled out the required form below, and I still can't even get a refund from Della and Boomer. I beg you, give me justice. Complainant, Jordert Guardsman. Product, product description. Bangbuster, I think? Boombuster? Does it matter? I bought it three days ago. I know you remember me. Incident description. Again, I just told you. I was demonstrating this scorched-out hammer to my fellow guardsmen by slamming it on a piece of rock, and instead of booming the rock, it boomed towards me, and now I don't have any eyebrows. Am I surprised? Am I sad? Nobody can tell, since I no longer have eyebrows. So in case you weren't aware, let me tell you, I'm very unhappy, and I want my shards back. Refund denied. Customer was made fully aware of the prototype's volatility at the time of purchase. Proceeded with purchase regardless, proca proclaiming, I am not a baby. Okay, that's, that's fair. <laughs> uh, where am I going? Let's go towards the next side. Qu Wait, no, 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 no. I was going, I got distracted. Hang on. 
Oh. To revel in some oh, this is sister? a game. Let me set the board. Scare alerts are I on. I was just passing by. I just mm, first timer, huh? In general. Don't worry about it. I'll go uh. easy on you. You got any pieces? <laughs> yes, they're still on. <laughs> uh, no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set, a Tanakh original, straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit, 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 sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. I'll give you something special if you win it on my boards too. Uh, machine. Oh, is this like, is this like Battleship sorta? That's kind of fun, but. Uh, hmm. Johnny, welcome on in. New to the stream, Love Horizon and Aloy, 100%ed both games. Oh, I cannot wait for to see how this game goes. And I know, the DLC. We're like a little over a month away. We'll get there. Oh, that's okay. Oh, it's more like chess? We can oh. always play later. Hmm, I kind of want to get to our combat. I can check that out when, when we want to be a little bit more chill. What's back here? Got a campfire. Let's quick see. We are on the same side here. That's kind of fun. Threaten us all. Happy I didn't just fall through. <laughs> we all know that the car didn't let the What do you want, Albert? Some kind of payment. My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it. What other choice do you have? <clears throat> what does that mean? Concession decree? Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. Hmm. Oh, the Savior herself. That's weird. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Uh, maybe. I suppose. I've heard many tales <laughs> of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freehold. At your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be. Saviorly attention. I'm here for the embassy and. The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah. Greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Yeah. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. <laughs> ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. <laughs> you don't seem to have a high opinion of the magistrate? No. Well. I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. Oh, really? How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osram lives. Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? It's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good hmm. Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity. Now he's yelling. For a okay. Land worked by the people for the people. Right. Hmm. And just how much would be your share? 
Only an amount appropriate oh. to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. Of course. If Chain Scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ah! The Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chain Scrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder. And its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. Hmm. Okay. You said you founded Chain Scrape. No. Somehow I doubt that. Practically All by yourself? Founded, yeah, practically. I alone saw its potential when mm. it was just a smattering of tents in Baron Light's shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chain Scrape is what it is thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Ah. Not at all. Ah. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, oh, as it could was you say that that's what they're doing too? Is to look after uh -oh. the well-being of these honest, working Osram. Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town. But with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks, and when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. Sister, over here. Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. The tavern. So, a lot more going on in this city. I'm gonna go pick up this other quest as well. I like to go pick up all my quests. I know some people don't like to be overwhelmed by quests, but I want all of them. I want all of the quests. Give me all the quests. Thank you, Slayer. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Fair pointing on the scare alerts, everyone. Uh, XVP, good to see you. Welcome back. Um, so the Karja guy that was here who wanted to talk to you went to the tavern. Yeah, no, we definitely need to go to the tavern. So, I gotta find out where that is. <laughs> Hi, Iggy. Good to see you. <laughs> Jess. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> hammers for hire, it's hammerin' time. Oh no, whatever will the hammers for hire do now that Gunert has lost all their earnings to devious dicers? Another mercenary job, that's what. In this episode, our heroes delve deep into a mysterious tunnel at the edge of the claim, searching for the Elderman's missing daughter. Inside, they'll find a machine that will give them the fight of their lives. Can they survive the drilling jaws of this ravenous giant? Will they save the missing maiden? Find out in the latest issues of Hammers for Hire, Name Takers, and Rock Breakers. Oh, hello. You were purple. What happened to you? That damn mine is what happened to me. <clears throat> It won't be the last injury if Olven keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels. What mine? Northeast to Chain Scrape, where the river ends. I told Corvin we should stop when the first cave in happened, but <sighs> Olven probably threatened to cut off our pay. You see the flag? Or worse. How about you slow the, the down seam. and take me through it? it? It just, it's waving and it's like. Taking off the stitches and then putting them back. I don't know why it's doing that. <laughs> you mentioned you were injured in a cave-in. Yeah. <clears throat> a couple days ago. That's how I hurt this blasted leg. <laughs> Corvin and the others were opening a new vein while I was checking on an older one. As soon as the blast hit, the tunnel I was in collapsed. Might have dodged it if I wasn't running on barely a spark of sleep. We were pushing too hard and too fast. And you're afraid Corvind and the others might not be as lucky if it happens again. Mm-hmm. Hit the nail right on the head. Okay. I could check in on your crew if I'm in the area. Go take a look. I... Creepy mine. What a... 
So, we've got a couple side quests and a couple errands, technically. I don't really know what the difference is between the side quests and the errands. To me, they just kind of seem all like side quests, I guess. I don't know. So, like some of these, I guess, like are like an errand. Like, I guess, gather wild meat and bitter leaf. Talk to Salma and learn how to play Machine Strike. Okay, we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> Go to the mine and talk to the Karja Magistrate. Where is that? Over there? Sure, let's go. I think this is for the deal for that one guy. Errands typically don't take as long and don't give you as many rewards. Oh, that's fair. Mm. Are all the merchants still closed? I really would love to sell some of my stuff. Guess I can't. Guess I'll just put a couple things away. Cause like, my resources are full. Uh, like I can put a couple of these random things like here. Store that. At least a couple things. Why don't we get you some Amelodax too, huh? Let's quick save. Might as well. Where we travel as far as the unknown so to be taken. Better than sticking around the bunch. You don't have to worry about inventory space. Oh. You don't? So what's the point of the stash? Because I know in the last game inventory space was definitely a factor for me. Keep poking. Oh, is this like a battle arena? What are they doing? Are they training? Hmm. Where is it wanting me to go? Is it wanting me to go like up? No, in here. There we go. Hello. Savior. Thank you for taking the time, and my condolences that you had to endure all once bloviating. I've dealt with worse. Bloviating? That sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the dawn? No one knows for sure. Yeah. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Alvind up. What is this? Uh, so what does he want? Yeah. Wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess. Because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Mm. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. Mm. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. Okay. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristle... Look around. Wait. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrapes all gears and rust and... Claiming that the Karja loosed the bris Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, okay. let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King. And with the Bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvunt has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram hmm. refuse to work unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. 
The reconstruction of barren light must okay, continue. Okay, interesting. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor. I mean. mm -hmm. well, your job would be a lot easier without someone like Ulvind blasting hot air all the time. Ulvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. Yeah, he does. <sighs> well, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. You said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, Assuming we're gonna to have to go bite them? Terrified laborer said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking then. If you learn the truth, maybe Ulvund will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun. And maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. So we'll go do that part in a minute. Find Aaron. Where is Aaron? Okay, so Aaron's over there. Let's go to him. And then, yeah, and then we have the other ones that are over here. Okay, so let's go to Aaron next. Let's move. Okay, so you guys were trying to tell me about the stash. Uh, so you don't have to worry about the inventory anymore because the extra stuff just goes to the stash. Okay, that's perfect. So it can replenish any missing bits you need in order to craft ammo for the weapons. That is really nice. I'm really happy that they fixed that because I was definitely limited by, <laughs> by uh, my inventory a lot, as you guys saw. <laughs> I was often deconstructing random things. At least I got like some value out of it, so it wasn't all for nothing. I can get data to override machines from cauldrons. Just need to find one. Uh, nothing, nothing to see here. Oh, acid. That's cool. Who's next? You're coming back. All right. Oh, oh, we're moving fast. There we go. Just go this way. Oh, so pouchful sent to your stash. So I'm just like spamming medicinal berries into my stash. That's kind of fun. I should stop doing that though. This whole area is right for trip wires. Okay, it's always something. Hold tight! I'll see what I can do. Luring them into the trip wires. Okay. Oh, if I press down, that brings up my map? Oh, weird. Gotta be ready. That used to be how I used to, like, use things? Okay, hang on. So, how do I use the rock? How do I use the rock? Oh, there it goes. Okay. I might as well just stand up and be like, hello. Hey, come here. Oh, don't jump over it. That's not fair. That's not allowed. That's not allowed. That wasn't supposed to happen. There we go. There 
we go. Ooh. No. Come on. Use the tripwires. Okay, fine. Where's more of them? Here we go. Yeah, it needs to come over here. Oh, there we go. Let's do that. That's the last one. <sighs> Hello, Red. What a day, what a day. Hello. Thank the forge you showed up. Tripwire. Uh man. did it take away my loot? Are they gone? Okay. They're come gone. On over. Let me give thanks proper like. Are they not? No, they're not. They're just over here. Okay. I'm just being dramatic. <laughs> Now I can be the best loot goblin I can be. It's true. Thank you. Thank you for Vin West for allowing me to achieve my dreams. <laughs> I see you're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Down that bristleback, headed south. But then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass. As they do. South, after more bristlebacks? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the Daunt, you're gonna want a tripcaster. Nice. Not just any tripcaster. One of mine make, free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep. Been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, uh, well, accidents. Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> well, like someone. Let me guess. Elvind. <laughs> Back when I had a place in town, he took a real interest in my wares. I kept pressing for the Ulven discount. I said no. He didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that chuff bucket set my workshop on fire. Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. That's Cable fair. Cable operator told me the bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and him got into all sorts of trouble. There was this one time that... Anything about the bristlebacks? No. He's Karn talkative. Said true. Just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you and the vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. I should get going. Thanks for the tripcaster. Nice. While you're blasting bristlebacks... I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Hunting grounds, Did oh my. You know they have a tripcaster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. We'll see. Maybe. After I get things under control. So Is there a itself. whole hunting lodge quest in this game again? I should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. Tripcasters allow you to place various types of tripwires. Tap right trigger while aiming to set up the first anchor point. Aim again for the second. There is a limit to how many tripwires can be placed at once. Be careful not to run into your own tripwires. Okay. So, there's a couple extra slots here. That's good. They gave me more than four weapons now. <laughs> because they have a lot of we different weapon types in this game. So, nice that we don't have to swap them out too much. Receive shock damage as well as shock buildup. When the icon is full, enemies will become shocked. They can't move. Vulnerable to critical strike and melee attacks. Alright, well, fun. Can I pick these up? I can. Thank you, Tommy, for the 10 bits. As much as you love this game, I don't think... Don't like that they put a limit on traps... And got rid of the whistle. I didn't really use the whistle very much. 
but yeah, I'm sure, especially if you like kind of came to depend on it. I mostly just use the rocks myself. Gotta be prepared. But yeah, the limit on traps, like I get it. I get it, cause like you have to have a limit like with the system probably. this go was there anything up here I did not climb up I believe moderate valuables why thank you okay so, we found Erend. Wild meat can be over that direction. Unknown. There's something this way. And the bristlebacks are that way. I'd kind of like to go this way towards the bristlebacks. So let's go to the unknown first. Oh, just kidding. We're searching for Erend's track still. <laughs> I'm like, what's the deal with this quest? Um... Assuming trucks. Maybe there we go. And the vanguards. Never mind. We're heading up here first. These bristlebacks are everywhere. Okay, some burrowers. They fought. And then, oh, a raccoon. I'm sorry. I need wild meat. A boar. All right, two arrows is enough. Wait, wait, four. Wait, wait, where'd the boar just go? It just disappeared. And then I thought that was it, but it's a raccoon. Hang on, where's my boar? It, it, what? The, did the terrain eat it? Did it fall? Aww. My boar. I hunted that boar. <laughs> Sometimes happens with animals. It's a bug. I thought it was an animal. I'm sorry. Terrible joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what's up here now? Acid. Sounds like well, someone's let's corrode. A fight. Here we go. Hello, Aaron. Good to see you again. This is what I was forged for. No ledgers to fill. <laughs> no boring mid-afternoon patrols. <laughs> Someone looks like he missed fighting. Didn't like all the responsibility. <laughs> Just a hammer. Just the fight. Ah. Aloy? Until Aloy's there, and then he's like, oh, actually. Aaron. Ouchie. Does he need some help? Do I need to hop in? Yeah, he was from the last game. He was our friend. We helped him find his sister. Before she died. Stay where you are. I'll handle the rest. On their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. That. Ooh. Oopsies. Oh, that one hurt. 
Can I notch extra arrows? No. Not yet, at least. Oh, I did not jump in time. Boom. Okay. Hey, we got a gold part. That's nice. Tommy, thank you. We helped him find his sister before she died. I mean, it made you laugh. It was not my intention. Um, but yeah, no, she, she, did. it was kind of tragic actually. Cause like we make it all the way to her. We like find her and then she like says goodbye and then just like super dies. It was not <laughs> Oh no. Um, <laughs> A coil is now available. Awesome. We finally have a coil. Let's check it out. Not a coil for that, I guess. Is it a coil for armor? What was it? Acid plus 7%. Acid ammunition unlocked. Well, yeah. No, no. But that should be... Hunter bow. Edit coils. Oh, here it goes. I figured it out. Okay, we're, we're good. <laughs> coils for weapons, weaves for armors. Thank you. I have not quite made that distinction in my brain, so thank you. <laughs> Wait, gotta get all my loot. Beautiful, beautiful loot. At least the good loot. What is that? Hello, Erend. Good to see uh, you, friend. Yeah. Caught me at my best, as usual. There's some healing berries on the floor. Well, You'll be fine. You did the hard part. I just took care of the stragglers. How bad is it? Uh, this? Ah, who needs ribs, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Huh. The berries. Okay, well, I... I know you didn't come all the way to the Daunt just to watch me get wrecked. So what's the story? I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Erend, what I did at the Spire... What we did... It didn't end the threat. No. It just slowed it down. There's still more to do. Really? <laughs> well, that's great! I, I mean, yeah, not the... Threat's not over, Bar. That's not so great. But, but hey, what? Whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Oh. Erend, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. Couple of days rest, if that. Actually, even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's it's better if I do it alone. Oh, he wants to come alone. Uh, that figures. Aaron! I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. I don't blow your blaze, I'm coming. <laughs> don't blow your this blaze. Just keeps getting better. <laughs> Listen. I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest. Studious Wadis. Oh, I know him. <laughs> then send Wadis to Baron Light. I'll catch up with you there. No. I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry? You? Sorry? <laughs> oh. yeah, that'd be a first. Where is this coming from? Hey, just, you know, He's forget He's clearly it, been yeah. having a hard time, oh, Aloy, but nothing. judging... It sounds like something. All right, fine. Tell me. Now, after the battle at the Spire, when you, you took off, you left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear? What kind of person does that? Oh, he's hurt. <laughs> like, come on, dude. Aaron. I'm sorry it wasn't easy for you when I left. And I know it's not easy now, but 
what I've been doing. Life on Earth is in danger, and only I can save it. Life on Earth? Yeah. Everything dies unless I succeed. Well, then let me help. Oh. You can't. There's no machine to fight, no bad guy to kill. What I've got to do, I... I can't even explain it. Not even to people I care about. Oh, so much for being useful. Oh. Okay. He's hey, hurt. By the forge. I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. No, no. Hey, you're needed elsewhere. Obviously. We'll make it without you. Aww. He's sad. That doesn't sound good. Thank you, Slender, for the bits, though. <laughs> You'll have to handle that one on your own. We'll only slow you down. Ah, all right. So. The source of the explosions. I'm basically, yeah, going that way. Wild Meat Quest says I can... I can do that nearby here. Oh, it's a little rat or something. What is that? A J? Oh, I I did not mean to use a corrosive arrow. That's kind of sad. It was a cute little bird. Oh no, I feel yeah. bad. There should be enough wild meat for Mildaf. Oh. Are there other ones? Yeah, there's more. Oh, look at them. They just kind of hop, hop around. Okay. No, it's good I missed. I've learned to override machines and intelligence before. I wonder if there are any out here. She's saying that because there is a cauldron nearby, maybe? Oh! I'm just trying. Ah! Okay. No. There we go. Bam. And a power cell. If only we could use that for our power armor. If only. It's a ruin from the old world. But I could find something interesting inside. Anything interesting? Supplies chest in there. How do I get in? Hmm. Over here, it looks like. Okay. What do we have in here? Can I jump? What can I jump on? And why is the music so intense? What's this? Okay. Camera angles. Going wild. A relic. I wonder how I can get in there to get it. Uh... Why does it, like, have shamrocks glowing off of it? What's with the clovers? Okay. Uh... Can I climb anywhere? Does someone need help over there? Is someone fighting that thing? I guess so. Hmm. Good luck to them. <laughs> Anywhere else? <laughs> Can't I, like, get myself up here? Can I not? Is that not a thing? I'm sorry, I'm struggling a little bit with the new... with the new parkour and stuff. I don't... 
Can I move this? Grab crate. There we go. Okay, so different sorts of puzzles. Okay, please just jump on the crate. Please jump on the crate. Thank you. Looks like this door needs some kind of key, key module. module. Maybe there's one in the ruin. Whew, there we go. Okay. Uh... Who's fighting that thing? Someone need help? Like, who are you? I hit the canister. Watch out, it's gonna blow. Yep, there it goes. Let's do it. Nice. Okay, hang on. I'm not done with this place. Assuming I can like go in in like a different part Like climb up. Okay, so there's there's things I can grab on right there Pick up the berries you will need them you have like thousands of berries stashed by the end, end of the game wait seriously Okay, I'll just keep grabbing them Uh We'll get you out, don't worry. Oh. This is what she was asking for help with. There you go. Yeesh. Mighty thankful to you, Savior. Just Aloy is fine. Aaron mentioned you're not one for fancy titles. You're Vanguard. Well, here to escort Vardis' delicate behind to the embassy. If... We can get rid of these bristlebacks. Captain said to keep an eye on Chainscrape, then these ugly lugs showed up. Gave the first one a good beating. But didn't quite have time to roll out of the way when it fell. Told you it wasn't a good idea to eat that much before heading out. Uh, I should probably get going. Now, if you see any more of these bristlebacks... I'll make sure to roll out of their way. Might want to take some of these with you as well. They're handy in a pinch. Thanks. Stay safe, Aloy. Deploy smoke bombs to confuse nearby enemies and escape back into stealth. Smoke bombs can also be used underwater. That's interesting. Okay. So, can I, can I like grab on to anything up here? I'm a little bit confused as to, like, what I can interact with. Yeah, I know I need to explore more in here. Can I, like, use the, the thing? How do I know when I can use that? And, like, when there's something to grab onto? Like, I don't know how to get in here. It looks like I maybe I'm gonna need to like go up, but can I get onto the roof if I go up here? I don't think so, but I'm gonna try, I guess. Don't know what else I would do. Okay, I guess let's jump up to this ledge first. Or just not. Please, Aloy, please, please grab the ledge. Thank you. Here, here we go. Okay. I just gotta go for the, the big run and jump. So it'll look like an X when I can pull. And you can just pull down certain chests. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Or when there's something blue. Okay. So, 
I just gotta keep an eye out. Oh. Mr. Enforcer, welcome. You played an unhealthy amount of this game when you came out. Or when it came out. Uh, you think you clocked something like 50 hours in 5 days? I mean, that's impressive. This game is cool, though. And, like, I get that. Did you play Zero Dawn as well? I'm assuming so. Some data survived. What do we have? Okay, text mail from Lodge at Zion Reception. Data corruption minimal. To Thomas Braith. Subject, your red permit code. Um, dear customer name, thank you for staying with the Lodge at Zion. With your reservation, you have opted for a red permit parking pass. To ensure the safety and security that our accommodations are renowned for, the access gate is for guest vehicles is protected by a personally generated code. For your convenience, this code grants entry both your room and your parking space. Red permit code... There... yeah, that thing. Please keep in mind that this code is confidential, so please refrain from sharing it with anyone during your stay. We look forward to seeing you. Have a safe and pleasant journey. Mr. Braith, sorry for the inconvenience, but our parking system software hasn't worked properly for some time. To access the lot, just use code 1705. It's embarrassing to admit, but we're actually unable to change it. Thanks for your understanding. <laughs> okay. 1705. There's a code for the locked door in this data. But I still need to find a key module. So that. So is that something I can grab onto? Only from the other side, it looks like. So maybe get like up and over. Hmm. Oh, okay. That actually did something. Hang on. Did I do this one correctly? Can't hook onto that. No. Nothing to hook onto. Okay. Then we can also go up. Is there a handhold? I'm not really seeing a handhold. Uh, I'm like not seeing the normal horizon things from Zero Dawn. How do I even get out of here at this point? Like, you can latch onto the crates. Like, how do I get up there? Can I, can I latch onto that? How do I, how do I pull myself up there though? Oh, I don't pull myself. I just pull that down. Oh. Okay. Uh. We're getting there. We're getting somewhere. Now, how do I get up there? I don't even know how to get out of here. <laughs> like, uh. Can uh, I have to get up here? Okay. So this. There we go. A crate. This should be useful. Let's watch out. And can we can we fit through the door? Thank you. Grab that. Please. Please fit through the door. Please. The door. The door. Thank you. Does this like pull out further or something? Can't pull that. No. So how do I? Well, that didn't work. So that means I need to pull this. Let's see, can I put the crate? Actually, like put the crate like right here no probably be better on this side if this even helps me to get up here let me see come on okay do I have to pull it down then is that what it is yes okay we're learning we're learning slowly but surely 
<laughs> Did it take anyone else a minute to adjust from Zero Dawn to Forbidden West? Oops. So, how to get up this high? Um... Can I do something more with this thing? Like, can I, I don't think it'll connect. Do I need to get up here maybe first and like jump across? That might work. No, uh, hang on. We're trying things. Try to do something like that. No, that's not gonna work. It's specifically not letting me do that. Okay. Uh mm. I feel like this shouldn't be that difficult. My apologies. But how how do I get up there? Should I try this angle? Like, I do Oh! She just did it this time. Incredible. We're learning. Okay. It's happening. I gotta find a key for the door. <laughs> Holy moly. And we got it. Try to fly. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that seems like a good suggestion at that point. Um, <laughs> takes you a bit to adjust from Skyrim to Skyrim. I mean, that's fair. There's more of the ruin down here. Where to now? Where to indeed? Hmm. Gotta be something to like scan down here. Creepy. But I'm not seeing a way through. Do we go up? Yeah, it's it's this. Here we go. All those rocks are about to fall on us, but it's fine. Ouch. More light down here. So, is there anything to like find down here? Uh, I'm like, I'm looking for something and I don't see anything down here. Here we go. Oh. Well, I can't reach the ledge above now. Guess I'll have to find another way up. Okay. So... Is there anything to find in this room first? No, not that way. Or I need to like bring the crate or something. Is there anything I can drag down here? Interact with in any way? Uh. Yeah, part of the puzzle. Quite a puzzle that they're starting me off with. I know it's not like that crazy, but. Is there something I can pull down? I'm a little confused. Yep. So, she said we have to find another way. Do I need to go, like, back through here? 
I see the chest or the that. Let me see. Can I can I grab that? I need to clear the distance first. Down it goes. There we go. All right, I'm figuring it out. They're not making this easy. Backing up. Backing up. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. And here we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Whew. Now where does this lead? So that's why there was a hole in the ground. Ancient supply box. Okay, that's something. Uh, no, that's not where I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to go right here. <laughs> the key module. Key module, okay. Okay, what a place. We figured it out though. Our first puzzle area, and I should be significantly more efficient with these moving forward, so. <laughs> Please stop missing. Is there an easier way to, like, make her lock onto those? I feel like I didn't miss as much before. Okay, let's see if this key fits. And what do we get in here? Um, looks like this needs a code, Was too. it 1705? Yeah, there it is. I think some of the data I picked up might help. There we go. <laughs> Ornament. What is First stop on the Screw You Kyle tour. Guess what, Kyle? That big, flashy demonstration for those big casino execs you wouldn't shut up about? Not gonna happen, but you know what is? Road trip, baby! Good luck following our dust trail, dick nose. Golden toucans out. Tom. <laughs> okay. Better keep it what safe. What did he do? Maybe I'll figure out what to do with it later. <sighs> Find the origins of the ornament. Okay, will do. I wonder what kinds of collectibles there's going to be. On me. I can send it to my stash. So now we're sending things to the stash. Got it. Keep going. Um. Vista Point Tower. Is that... Do I have to, like, climb up it? It's like a climbing situation. Doesn't really look like it. It says Vista Point Tower. Can I scan it? There we go. Looks like some kind of building in front of sheer cliffs. Wait, where? Oh, here. Maybe if Just I line this? up exactly right? where it was taken, my focus can fill in the rest. Is it supposed to be like here? I don't think that's right. I better keep looking. Lining it up with the house or something? No? No, that doesn't quite look like that house, does it? No. Uh, that way, maybe? Uh... It looks like the building in the image might have been near a river. Maybe there used to be a bridge nearby? Maybe there used to be a bridge nearby. Well, how do I... Okay, so how do I keep... I would assume that it would have to be close by, right? Your map will so show you where to search. Uh, let's 
see. Okay. So it can be somewhere in this whole area? Weird. Okay, There's let me look around. So assuming we're not going all the way to the quarry. I don't know if I like this vantage point situation. Like having to line it up like that. It doesn't put you in a very good spot, it seems. But we're going to see how it goes. Uh, I don't... <sighs> this doesn't look right. What is behind it? Is that like a mountain? What mountain is that? Not that one. I have no idea what mountain that is, even. Uh. Boar, are you gonna escape me this time? I'm gonna use the dang cor corrosion arrows. Oh, don't make it make such a sad noise. I'm sorry, Boar. So, on the river, I'm assuming we're looking for, like, a different angle of this house or something. Looking for a bridge. Okay, so I do maybe need to go up here? Or, like, all the way down here? No, it's not that way. Hmm. I guess over this bridge? Let me see. So intense. Looks like the Osram decided to put up a fight. So, like, here? That doesn't look it like the right like bridge. The building in the image might have been near a river. No, and it over? can't be over here anyways. Okay, so... Yeah, there used to be a bridge nearby. So what does that mean? We're gonna be right here? Maybe where this was? Let's see. Something... Mm, nope. I should find another spot. Hmm. I liked the system much better before than this. <laughs> I just give me my image. Why is it supposed to be so difficult? Or may like I don't know why it would be so far. Uh Like don't make me work this hard for the little lore tidbits. Come on. <laughs> this game feels like The Witcher. See, I still haven't played through The Witcher, so I can't really weigh in. See, no, that's the opposite direction. Like, where... Ah, like, this is the only place where there's a river in this area. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, where? Maybe, maybe facing this way? Like, no. Um. Guess we keep going this way. Maybe, like, all the way up here? I don't think this seems right either. It's like there's, like, mountains up above it, but I don't know which mountain piece that is. There's, like, a lot of mountains. Uh, the struggle. I know this shouldn't be this hard. Okay, we can do it. <laughs> uh, like, there's no. Down, like, this way? Is it this? Is it those bricks? It must be these bricks. Hmm. 
ruins of a bridge. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the same one from the image. I could try to line it up around here. It's okay. We're getting there. I, I, okay. Really not obvious, in my opinion, but it's okay. We're getting there. Uh, search near Almost the bridge. There. What am I searching for? Am I supposed to be doing this? Am I supposed to be lining it up? I'm confused. Search near it? Search for what? For what? Uh, I don't know what I'm searching for. Do I face this way? Is this the way? What? That did it. Now it worked. It didn't work. It didn't work. I swear I did that. <laughs> it's okay. We figured it out. Technologies. Pretty house. That was Elizabeth's company. I wonder if I can find more of them out in the wild. Victory. We did it. We did it, guys. We vanquished the data point. <laughs> the vantage. The vista point. What? <laughs> Whatever this is. Oh my goodness me. Oh, we can do it. Okay. I'm not the biggest fan of those things, but the next one should be easier. And there's more. Yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm sure they're gonna drive me crazy. It's all right, we'll get there. So, now we gotta kill all these machines. One less machine. I've got an ally, that's nice. Oh, I've got a couple allies. Nice. Another one down. Level six. Oh, I need to be leveling. I, I haven't really leveled up at all. Besides like the first time. <laughs> I keep leveling and I keep forgetting. So, yeah, I've literally leveled one time and I'm level six. Oops, my bad. Uh, let's... Yeah, passive boost. Sure. Low health defense, resist more damage when low health, automatically recover health sooner when in critical health state. Eh. Infiltrator, silent strike deals more damage. Sure. Go for a little bit of stealth. Deal more tear damage on stealth. That sounds kind of nice. Take less damage while on the mount. Trapper, place traps faster. Sure. Recover more. Horrors. We, we want some warrior skills. Strike an enemy with the melee attacks to build up energy on your spear. When fully charged, tap right trigger to energize your target. Cool, I was gonna say, the spear damage seemed a little bit low. That's why. They added skills. Block breaker, immediately break an enemy's weapon guard, then leave them vulnerable to follow it attack. Okay, so that's like a combo. And that's another combo. Knock down small machines, staggering large ones, or break enemy weapon guard. Let's try... Valor Surge. So it seems like a big important skill. Deal more damage with resonator blasts. Deal more damage with light and heavy attacks. Let's go this way. There we go. Hunter, we have one more skill left. 
recover concentration faster. Concentration deplet depletes more slowly. Let's do that. Incoming. Here we go. All right, now it's actually time to fight. I'm trying to do my combo. I want to try my new cool combo. Maybe not the time, though. Maybe, maybe not the time. Lock breaker, I got it. Oh, okay. Another one down. There we go. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna explode. There it goes. There. Corey's safe. Stranger, come on over here. We gotta talk. They're like, wow, look at you. I'm like, I know. I'm Aloy. I don't know what Anora's doing out here, but consider yourself old. We tried to hold off and wait for the vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? We lost some good people, but we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work, but Chain Scrape's whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. What are you and your crew working on? We're supposed what to be working on Oven's claim, digging out stone to show our barren light. But the work stoppage and the bristlebacks cut us short. Never seen those blasted things in a dawn before. Where in Forge Fire did they come from? I'm not sure. At least not yet. I'm wondering if there's like a new cauldron. Like what's? Hmm. You need the whistle to get back to work. Me and my crew were just little cogs out here. Can't lift a hammer till Oban blows that thing. Cause if we work without his say so, he'll ban us. And my people have been through enough. Uh oh, no banning. Oban holds that much power? He has He's got the ban the hammer. And connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristlebacks. I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. Goodbye. I think I've cleared out most of the bristlebacks. Chain scraping it back to work now. I'll go give Olvent the good news. What is to? Then maybe this embassy can finally happen. Maybe. That would be crazy. Well, we gotta go over here first, though. Uh. Given settlements and stuff. What is that? Unknown. Hmm. I'm sure we'll take the time and explore a good bit. Ooh, Crimson Narrows. That looks like the cauldron sort of icon. Deep trouble. Go to the mine. Oh. I wonder if the mine is the cauldron. We'll see. Hmm. Or no, that was like the cave mine symbol. I'm wrong. I'm misremembering. That's okay. Anyways, this way. I need a save point. It has been a moment. Let's hope we don't run into any more uh, Vista points on our way. Javad said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry. I should see if there's anything in the back of the valley. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh! Okay, why'd that thing run so fast? No. Thank you. Dead bristleback by the falls. Hmm. Gotta check it out. Make sure I set that as my active. It looks like it died on impact. Maybe it charged off the cliff up there. I better keep following the trail up. Okay, so we gotta follow that trail up. I really would like to find like a this, is there a save point anywhere? Not right here. There's one way back there though. 
Okay, we will go save in a moment, though. Um, hi, Bashpin, welcome on in. I did watch the third episode of The Last of Us last night. Ow! Dude, that is not how we jump up here. Bad deal. You go on your chair. Ow. Don't scratch me and jump up. You know better. He's like, I'm sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. Um, <laughs> I cried watching the, the third one. Definitely. Um, it, it got me and it was fantastic and I very much enjoyed it. So, would recommend. Hi, buddy. Are you are you here to, to demand things? Mm-hmm. I never played Fable. I never played the Fable series. I probably would have liked it. There's like a lot of good series and stuff like that that I just kind of missed that were like a little bit before my time gaming. Or just like before I like really branched out with my gaming at least, you could say. And like I would love certain series like that to just get remastered over time, you know? Another That's why I am, like, really thankful when they do go back and remaster, like, games that I didn't get the chance to play. It's cool. Carefully. Hmm. It's gonna be in this mine. Yeah, the third episode was the first real diversion from the game. They did it really well, though. Like, it definitely was good. Really good episode. Yeah. They took a risk, and it paid off. And I... I'm happy. Split Crag. This is a cool looking area. For a moment, I'm like, wait, what game am I playing? Oh yeah, Horizon. Just looks different. The old car tracks collapsed. It looks recent. Hmm. Guess I'm not going that way. Nope. And up we go. There's smoke from deeper in the mine. An what is this? Oh, maybe don't do that. Maybe don't do that. Maybe don't hit them. I don't know what that is. I don't like it though. Refresh stealth area. Oh, so it's not bad. It's stealth. Bristlebex. So they did come through here. That's kind of fun. Refresh myself. Nope, too late. Eh, they're not too hard to get. Okay, ow. Pain subsiding. Poor Aloy. Probably in a lot of pain. <laughs> and it's my okay. fault. Better take a look at where the smoke's coming from. Alright, up this way. There's loot below the cart tracks? Wait, what? Like the mine runs pretty far back. What do you mean? Like, under... Oh wait, there's some. Hang on, let me grab all the stuff. I missed that one almost. Almost. Is that something? Nope. <laughs> Where's the dead end? Bristlebacks must have collapsed these tracks too. There's enough blaze here to blast a mountain open. Generous and supply cache. One of the barrels. This 
That's addressed to Oldland. Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. Oldland must have gotten greedy. Kept blasting deeper into the mountain. I should let Javad know what I found. Okay, delivered 24 barrels blaze, 4 shovels, 9 hammers, 1 keg of spitfire. Delivered full as spitsworn by Ragurg Tradesman. Getting harder to deliver your shipments quietly, Olvind. Ran into a Karja patrol and wasted an hour heading to the northern mine just to throw them off the scent. Javad may be a chuff, but until you get that concession signed, he can still shut down my trade. So if you want to keep blasting away at this scorched out mine, I'm happy to oblige. But my fees have just gone up. Ragurg. Oh, so there's, there's like a whole thing going on here. Interesting. Wee. So, back we go, looks like. Let's get out of here. I so will not linger. blasting in the mine. Squeeze it for all it's worth. Until Bristleback stampeded through. Maybe the explosions blew away open? I could see that. From where? Yeah. Let's go. You're back, House Gaming. It's good. It's going good. I was struggling to find uh, the Vista point for a moment, but we found it, and then we went and cleared out the mine real quick. So now I think we're gonna go back here for a little bit, and then I also would like to go back this way. I could try to sell a couple things first. Let's go. <clears throat> now we get Olven to blow the whistle, then Bodies to bear light. Who could I talk to right here? I think there was someone else I could talk to. Yeah, right down Seriously? here. Yeah, this guy. Here, Hello. Marcy. Yeah. In fact, you. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there. Not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. Shouldn't take more than a day or two. <sighs> no. You no. The whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay. Either you do it now, or I will. This is not ah, a. Ah! I knew you could do it. Friends, <laughs> gather around. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated. Uh, you. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business. Resolving things. Yay. They're like, yay, work. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Ah! Yeah! That's where I like it! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Don't you have an embassy to get to? Uh, yeah, I think I do. I guess I do. <laughs> okay, Aloy. Merchants are now available. Awesome. Okay, stitchers, hunters, herbalists, cooks. So outfits, weapons, potions, food. And other merchants have unique stock. Cool. Well, the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baron Light. <laughs> I've heard. Hello. Um. I don't really know if I want to get like to buy like a green level armor. I might want to wait until like I can get like something a little, a little fancier, you know. So, oops, that's not what I meant to press. Let's 
selling. Okay, so you guys mentioned something about earlier that I didn't fully read. I like skimmed over it and then just kind of forgot to circle back to it. You're mentioning some of these valuables and stuff to maybe not sell all of them. Like valuables to sell. Like I'm assuming we just sell, you know, everything that is marked to sell, right? Bam. Okay. My armor can help. Maybe later. I think I'm okay for now. Is there another merchant up here? No. There we go. The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when said. I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's worse. Huh? So they're okay. Banged up, but breathing. And waiting up ahead for you. Have fun. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Light, buddies. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? Ah. I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. Oh, he seems to like us. <laughs> seems to like us more than him, which, fair enough. Second passage oh, to the embassy. Now that that's done, the embassy can finally get underway. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down Silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a guy at backup. Nice. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the dance some more first. Brought out only the good Petra stuff for you. Drink. Yes, See Petra. You got we gotta find Petra. Hey, I've been waiting to get my lucky hammer fixed for days. You haven't done anything useful like getting rid of any bristlebacks, though, have you? <laughs> Take your time. I promise you won't be disappointed. Tells you what items are for shards only. Okay, perfect. Most of the stuff, very important parts. You do need it to upgrade. Very careful. Easy mistake. So I should just basically only sell the stuff that says, like, valuables to sell, right? <laughs> Uh, what does he have? Fire hunter bow, warrior bow, fast firing for close range encounters, sharp shot bow, slow firing rate to deliver precise powerful shots at long range, which can destroy components instead of tearing them off. That could be interesting. Do you like a good sharp shot bow? Sure. Some of the stuff it says are for shards can be traded for other useful stuff. Oh, so some of the j valuables only can be traded. Oh, good. Come back anytime. Now can I get this fixed? I can fix your tools. Afraid there's no fixing you. <laughs> Sharp shot bows are powerful, highly accurate. Yeah, we know. We like them. Something about firing when moving. I probably should have read the whole thing. My bad. Uh, <laughs> I'll start doing that. Also, it's been forever since we saved. Let's make sure we do that. And what's going on in here? Hey, I thought you'd left by now. Who said that? Was that Petra? Petra, where are you? I want to have our drink. I want beer. What news do you bring? Picked up the bristleback trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. 
For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the Daunt. No, you don't think. That Alvin's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes. Yeah. Perhaps. Uh -oh. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry. So thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? Look around. This may blaming that okay, the Karja no, I already the saw this. Late. Well, even with the valley work, Olven hopes he can... And if the author... Correct. It was lit up like I hadn't asked of it course. before. I definitely had. If I'm gonna find out where the Bristlebacks hey, came Petra. from... Petra! Change your mind about that Another reason to get the embassy going? Yeah, we got time to time for a drink with Petra, right? Hi, Noven Rider. Good to see you. I'm doing pretty good today, actually. It's been a been a pretty nice one here. Um, I was online while the sun was still shining. It was crazy. <laughs> Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! <laughs> There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. Yeah. Ah, that's a blast Spitfire? from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grating the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. Shadow Karja refugees. What are they doing in the Daunt? Mm, looking for a new home, I gather. They're camped out by an old trailhead, southwest of here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Tallinn Clean Brokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch. But overall, they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Tallinn. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else? Oh, okay. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. <sighs> Have you been drinking? You're a pig. Blasted things, those bristlebacks. Water today. They just showed up Cheers. one day, rampaging Thank around you, the Baylor. valley like they exploded out of a forge. Thanks, Lander. <laughs> Lost some good people. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out and got this place working again. That put a dent in Olven's plans. Now, if only there were some way to smash them all together and run them out of town. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. About that. I think the bristlebacks came out of Olven's old mine. <gasps> now there's a spark that could light a fire. Can you prove it? I'm working on it. By the forge. Grab my ear if you nail it down. <laughs> okay. Grab my ear. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. Fair enough. What else can you tell me about the Shadow Carger refugees? Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Carger for one. At least, not anymore. They're some other brand of sun-crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. 
Don't seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked Stormbird, waiting for... what, exactly? Don't rightly know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a Stormbird heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by Ostrom Law, it's theirs. Not that Tolan Cleanbroker has ever lost sleep over any law-breaking. Who? Who is this Tolland Cleanbroker? <laughs> Just some chuff-huffing pawnsman. Got a shop here in town. Lived in chain scrape since there was a chain scrape. He and Alvin go back a ways. Like a pair of coals in a campfire, those two. So Tolland works for Alvin? Ha! <laughs> Alvin might think so. But Tolland scrapes up his own scams. And he ain't the type to let a few refugees get between him and Stormbird salvage. So about Olvind? Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew <laughs> okay. rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. Olvind the squirrel. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. Yeah, not working out. So... I don't need to keep asking her about Love that. We've that heard. Way. I'll <laughs> talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it rougher. Petra said Tolland has a shop here in Chainscrape. No I could have a word with him first. No? Okay. Anyone. Oh, there, machine man. strike another day. So, hang on. What do we got here? Twilight Path. Talk to Tolland. This way. Toland is over here. You just gonna stand there? Do my best to follow the markers. What, this way? Here we go. And right here. Perfect. No, Hello, you. Toland. The machine hunter that bailed out the Karja. Never heard it put that way before. <laughs> what do you want? I heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A stormbird. Nailed it myself with the harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. It clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. Yeah, so if anyone's hassling anyone... I get it, I took down a stormbird once. Filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And, and then it disappeared and I was mad. To it. No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to Karja lovers. On your blasted way. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> King of Sun, welcome. You would love to be able to play this again for the first time. I really enjoyed Zero Dawn for the first time, so I'm excited to see where they're taking the story. Welcome, welcome. Oh. Petra, you, she'd be awesome to go out drinking with, but you think every time would inevitably end up with her in a fight? <laughs> Only most times. What are you talking about? Override a charger. And we've got another new quest over here. Hang on. Quests and quests and quests. Everyone wants to talk to Aloy. Everyone seems to need help. To find a charger to override. We will have to find a charger. She is correct. Oh. Cool. Yeah, hello there. Hello. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I'll be right with you. Uh. Okay. I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon. Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off. Oh, just, just, just stop talking. Where are we? Uh, what? <clears throat> so, uh... What? You, <laughs> you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... Uh, what? But you're just not! 
I am with a customer. I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder. It'll blow a strider sky high. Ba-boom. One shot kill. Guaranteed. Uh... Maybe uh -oh. I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red. How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking, yet perfectly safe, javelin thrower? Oh? What? Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. That's... yeah. <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. Hmm. So, she's your partner? My apprentice. And my sister. She's why we're out here. It was an incident. Another yeah, of course, incident. they're family. Involving explosives? Makes sense. But boom <laughs> And Dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. Okay. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. I had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Namely, with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Mm. Why not both? Ooh. Both is good. That could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. Fang There's a horn mean one rib. Of here. Okay. Blow it sky high. Boomer. <sighs> you get them for me. It's yours. My treat. You have a deal. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Make a suggestion, do everything you can for these two. All right, noted. We got we got some business to attend to here. A bigger boom. Uh, love it. Love it. <laughs> okay. Um, let me go back to the save point here. And I am considering if this is actually, like, maybe a good stopping point here for now. Um, so I feel like we're kind of set up to go do some more things, and we progressed our quests, like, a good bit today. We definitely didn't do nothing, and we, like, explored this whole new city and stuff. So I think that's going to be kind of fun. I was like, why is the circle lopsided? Oh, because it's 3D. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, you think those two are sisters? What? You think? Man? Nah. Melee pit chain scrape? Oh my goodness. And then there's machine strike. Okay, so that's kind of fun. So there's a melee pit and stuff. Oh, jeez. All right. Well. Hang on. Let me, let me do, do a new save here. Well, no. I guess I don't need to overwrite. Hang on. Let me, let me do a new save. Let's have two saves. I like to have two saves at once. Here's the rest. Thank you, Slander. <laughs> the circle's giving you a headache. Oh, what? Was I doing something? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you guys, that is Horizon Forbidden West. Day two, I believe. It is off to a good start. Uh, we didn't really get any news from Silence or anything today, but... We have to go chase him out west, which is our whole point. So it seems like we got a couple steps before we actually get out there and like look at how big this map is. Like, do we see this? This is gonna take us a while to get through this game. Like it's taken me a while to clear out this little area here. So 
<laughs> oh wow, this game is a lot, so much info to soak in. I'm assuming we're going to be playing this for a little while. So I'm going to be playing this kind of casually here and there, probably for like two, three hour periods. Um, just on like a lot of different days that I stream. So that is going to be it for today.